a caravan of more than 2,700 Hondurans hoping to get to the US. It's one of several that have set out from Honduras since 2018, carrying many seeking to escape violence and extreme poverty. Josumen Ramirez, a coffee grower, is traveling with his younger son. He says they've no choice. I have big debts in Honduras that I just can't pay because your work doesn't pay enough to support even yourself. This woman says her nephews were killed over Christmas and she's left so they can't get her son too. She's too scared to let us film her face. Losing a son would hurt me more than anything else. We've already made the decision. Even if they don't let us pass, we can't go back. For now at the Casa del Migrante shelter in Guatemala City, they're safe and have medical care, food and a place to sleep. Even if it is only under the tarpaulin that Father Mauro, the centre director, is setting up. He expected more than a thousand. I asked how they were going to fit. They have to. What else are we going to do? We have to work miracles here. That's the situation we're in. Those in the caravan will need more miracles heading north. Mexico, under pressure from U.S. President Donald Trump, has said it won't let them through. Those who do manage to get to the U.S. border find disappointment. Right at the moment that this caravan of Hondurans are trying to get through Guatemala and eventually to the United States, plane loads of their countrymen are actually being sent back. We'd already got there and asked for asylum to here, Guatemala. And that tells you how little their chances are of it actually being accepted for asylum at the end of this journey. Malcio knows that. He's one of those who've gone on past caravans without success. Ask him why he's trying again. We have nothing to lose, because in Honduras we have nothing. You understand? Our lives are at risk in Honduras. As we leave the shelter, people are queuing to get in. They know their journey is only going to get harder, but they're still going on. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Guatemala City.